Last year, the Supreme Court paved the way for every state in the country to legalize sports gambling. As the practice becomes more popular, Iowa and South Dakota seem ready to make betting legal. This morning, our very own Jacob Russo shows us how sports betting could impact casinos and bettors alike. Sports betting was once considered a niche market confined mostly to Nevada. But in recent years, the popularity of sports betting has exploded. Websites like FanDuel and DraftKings have popularized weekly fantasy betting. ESPN even has a segment devoted to betting. Last year, the Supreme Court ruled any state in America can legalize sports gambling. Eight states have taken advantage of that ruling, and Iowa and South Dakota are considering bills that would follow suit. I think the consensus has been building for years, and I think one of the things that was preventing a bill from becoming law in years past was the fact that we knew that this Supreme Court ruling might come down, and we didn't want to preempt them and do something that would then be nullified. And the groundwork that was laid these last several years, I think, gives us a very good shot of getting this done this session. Casinos like the Hard Rock Sioux City are excited at the possibility of legal sports gambling. It's going to have a positive impact for all the casinos and for the state of Iowa. I think uh, there's been eight states that have passed legislation since the Supreme Court allowed it back in May of 18. Uh, those properties that have sports betting have seen an increase in both gaming and non-gaming revenues. The Iowa Gaming Commission is also in favor of the change. They plan to roll out mobile and online gambling. We believe that it should be for all professional and collegiate sports, uh, including in-state uh, games, as well as having a mobile component. So if you're age 21 and over, you come into a casino, prove you're 21, establish an account, then place bets on a, a smartphone or a laptop anywhere within the state. We want to make sure that we bring uh, sports gambling legally and a convenient way to do it, and the mobile application will help us to do that. While bettors and casino owners may welcome the change, organizations like Jackson Recovery want everyone to know the risks associated with gambling and how it can lead to addiction. This has become more socially acceptable, really. And, you know, when we look at younger people in the games that they're playing, a lot of times there's almost a crossover from the gaming into problem gambling. Roxanne Smith is a prevention specialist at Jackson Recovery. She's most worried about young people. One thing that we know through research is that the fastest growing population that is experiencing gambling problems is our youth. According to Jackson Recovery, 1% of Iowans have a gambling addiction. While 1% may not sound like a lot, Smith points out that represents more than 31,000 people. She says if gambling becomes legal and more convenient, that number might rise. It's just so easily accessible and it's very easy to hide. You know, nobody knows that you're even doing it. The Hard Rock thinks the benefits of this change outweigh any potential negatives. I think being able to allow our citizens to bet in an illegal environment is a benefit for them and for the state. But until the Iowa and South Dakota legislatures pass a bill legalizing sports betting, it remains only a possibility. In Sioux City, Jacob Russo, KCAU 9 News.